Hi, this is Donna, and I hope to make a really quick video. I found out I have a new pet peeve. And um, I found out this morning we have some RIPs involved in some of the swaps here on YouTube. RIP is really important person. They are so important, they don't have to follow the rules like the rest of us do on these swaps. And if I feel that there are tons and tons of swaps I would like to join, but I feel that I would be letting my team members down and I would be embarrassing myself if I signed up for them before I practiced um, practiced them. So I don't want to put team members through, and that's what swaps are. It's teams, whether it's two people or eight people. It's a team. We all make up a team, and if one of the team members fails, it can't work. It has to work with every team member. Nobody put a gun to my head. I signed up myself, joined these swaps, because I said I wanted to be part of this team, part of this swap, get my stuff done, get it mailed off on time as a team. There are some RIPs that feel that they're more important than the rest of us. They don't have to follow the rules. So you're sitting in a waiting. I was furious this morning when I found out that some of the, one of the team members had made some very rude comments to the host, which is very rude, very uncalled for, and very childlike. If you were my child, you would be on timeout for six months. You would not be joining any of my swaps. That's why I don't host swaps, because I don't put up with people. It's black is black, white is white. No gray. I am not politically correct. I tell it like it is. So I'm sure I'm speaking for a lot of hosts and team members. You know who you are. And I really think that the harsh words that were spoken need to be apologized for. I'm man enough to admit when I can't do something, and I don't do it. I don't sign up and then make people wait on me. I would be totally mortified if that happened. And so I just feel like I had to get this off my chest because there's a lot of RIPs involved in the swaps. And sure, there's emergencies. If there's an emergency, you need to let your host know immediately so you can be replaced. But um, the one incident I'm talking about, I'm sure it wasn't an emergency. It was just laziness or um, RIPism. Really important person that don't have to follow the rules. And if you feel that this is a job, Please, please do the rest of us a favor and don't join. Quit your job. Don't join any more swaps. It's not a job to me. I enjoy it. But I don't feel that it's our job to sit there and wait on our, I our IPs. And I don't feel that the host is getting paid to babysit you. And if you get your tiny little feelings hurt, well, maybe you should get your tiny little feelings hurt because you have let us all down. You've let your team members down, the team's put down, because you are more important in your own mind. So I had to get this off my chest. My host does not know I'm doing this. It's all my own. So don't be sitting there yelling at her again and doing harsh words and being nasty about it. You have yourself to blame and yourself only. Nobody can make you do what you don't want to do, so you need to apologize. And if you think you're man enough, you need to apologize to all of us for being late. We spent a lot of time, energy, on making our projects and getting them in on time, and we would like to reap what we have sown. But we have to wait for the RIP in our group. I'm not apologizing for this video. You need to apologize to your team, your team host.
Thank you for watching.